Hi Natalia, I uh, just wanted to touch base with you and uh, let you know that I'm thinking about you. Um, today uh, we went to church and um, you know we heard a, heard a message about uh, the end times and some of the things that's going to happen and um, it was a good message. And um, you know, uh, in 1948, uh, I'll try not to. I, I hope you understand how I'm talking, and it, you know, I'll I'll try not to talk too fast. But in 1948, uh, the country called Israel was given back their their country, and uh, they were teaching about how, you know, before 1948, Israel was scattered all over the place, and the Bible actually says uh, talks about the actual year that Israel will be given back to its people. In 1948, it was prophesied in the Bible thousands of years before and prophesy means basically the Bible in many places talks about things that's going to happen thousands of years ahead of time 1948 was the year that, that God promised to give Israel back its people or give it, I'm sorry, to give its country back and 1948 was prophesied uh, in the Bible if you study and you can do the math and it's very easily predictable and um, the Bible also talks about that, that a time where Jesus Christ is going to come back and the, the whole world's going to change and he's going to take away all the people from the world that know Jesus. They're going to be delivered. And the people that are remaining will have to go through terrible, terrible tra traumas uh, and there will be conflict beyond what you can imagine. And uh, there will be much trouble in the world because of the uh, uh, God's wrath or punishment on people that refuse to believe in Jesus Christ. And um, the Bible talks about, that, that gives a prophecy in it. And every prophecy of the Bible has come true. There's been like over a hundred prophecies and every one of them has come true. This one is one of the few left that, that we haven't reached the time yet. But it says that in 1948 Israel will be given back its land. And, and then it says that um, the first generation will see the second coming of Christ, which in that second coming is a time where, where God removes all of the Christians from the earth. The Bible prophesies this. And uh, the question is, how long is a generation? And the, the Bible talks about a generation being 70 to 80 years. So that could be anywhere from 2018, the year 2018 to 2028 that Jesus Christ is going to come back and remove all the people that are believers. And, and it was an interesting message because it's all based on scripture, but see people don't even know their Bible. They don't, they don't, they can't read it, they don't read it, they don't know, they don't care to read it, they don't care about God. But the reality is there's a time that's coming very quickly we don't know exactly the day or the hour, but it's soon where Jesus Christ is coming back. And I just thought that was interesting, and I've known that for some time, um, but I thought it was interesting that there was a message on that. You know, my heart is, uh, what what is God, has God got something for me in Russia? Am, am, am I supposed to be in Russia someday? Why is he giving me a woman that's Russian? Um, other than you're a wonderful lady, I don't care what country you live in. Um, but you know, I, I, I have to wonder if, if God's got a purpose for me in Russia in the future at some point. And um, no matter what, um, I believe our future is, is unified in that that uh, God's got a plan for you here. Uh, he wants you to grow stronger. He wants you to know Him better. And um, I believe that uh, maybe sometime, I don't know, I, I really don't know, God's not showing me, but there is a chance that maybe someday that we both will end up in Russia. Um, people just need to get saved, and people need to come to know the Lord. You, If you read the book of Revelations, which is hard to read, it's one of the hardest books in the Bible to understand, but if you really understand the Bible and you re read it, what life is going to be like when Jesus Christ removes his people and the rest of the people is left and that's probably the majority of the people on the earth 
but there will be so much chaos because people are going to wonder what happened to the people that were Christians and because they don't know the Bible, the ones that are not Christians, they're going to be confused as to where all the Christians went and um, the Bible talks about this. This is going to happen. And time is growing shorter. So I, I really, you know, if God, if God wants me to go to Russia, you know, I'm, by Russian standards, I'm rich. But here in America, I'm just average, maybe a little above average. But my desire is to do whatever God would have me to do. And, and, and I believe that there's some clues as to why is he giving me a wife that's in Russia. Maybe that has something to do with it, maybe not, uh, of where God would have me to go. I don't know. But I do know this, that we need to be um, thinking about the fact that people all around us don't know God. Some of the people we care about are ignorant. They do not know that these things are coming. They just think, oh, you know, let's just live every day and if we're good enough, maybe God will let us into heaven. It don't work that way. <laughs> it does not work that way. They're ignorant to the Bible. They don't know God in their heart. And you can know so much in your head, but if you don't know them in your heart, it doesn't count for anything. Because you have to trust them. And I know that you've prayed that. But the thing is, so many people, they, they don't know. They don't realize that, that, that we're living in times, in the, in the last days, I believe. And um, it was a message that just struck my heart. And I just wonder a lot, you know, <laughs> in front of me, there's these two people that uh, I've met them before they they uh, live right over where my ex-wife lives and supposedly um, there was a lot of damage done over there where my ex-wife lives this hurricane came through not far from here and it did a lot of damage there and uh, you know I, I want to live for God I believe if, if you're going to live contrary to God and do the opposite especially if you know Christ and you know Jesus as your Savior you're going to you're gonna have a lot of things you're going to have to go through in this life because God's going to deal with you if you don't know if you know the Lord and you just decide well I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it do what I want to do treat people like crap you know and, and, and let the garbage of this world just sift through your mind the people people are going to find themselves someday in a bad situation because what goes wrong comes wrong the Bible teaches whatever a man soweth that he will reap and if we're going to go around being ignorant about the Bible pretending like we got forever to live our lives pretending like there's not nothing that's going to come about if we treat people poorly the Bible teaches us whatever we sow we're going to reap so if we're going to sow bad seeds in the ground if we're going to do bad things in other people's lives if we're going to live in a way that contradicts the Bible well, we're going to reap that in our lives and um, I, I guess these are things that I, I wonder, you know, what, what, who does God want me to go to? Who does God want me to be with? You know, I know you as a, you know, my wife, but I don't believe that, um, I don't know, I, I don't know what else God would have to do. I just know that we're together, but I, I don't know what else, and, um, I don't know where else, and, um, I guess I'm saying a lot of things here. But I'm saying, you know, <laughs> you might live here for a while. God might say, go live in Russia. Where I would really be... <laughs> I have some problems with that in that I can't communicate in Russian. But anyhow, um, maybe that's what the big picture is. I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I'm just wondering. But anyhow, so anyhow, I'm going out to work out. <laughs> going to go exercise. Going to go eat gonna go um, have to do some chores but anyhow hey you take care God bless and I'll talk with you later bye bye